Hi everybody, Jeremy Larson, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. I am doing a video tour for you today of a townhome at La Vaita in Irving. This property is listed for $424,900. It is a two bedroom and a flex space. It's two and a half bathrooms. It's this one right on the corner here kind of set out in front of this courtyard space. Built in 2006, the original builder was Portrait. That same family now has a company locally called CB Jenny, so a lot of y'all would probably be familiar with that name. But a really cool style. Uh, these are Mediterranean style, barrel tile roofs. Nice that it has some great green space. Has an attached two-car garage. All the exterior uh, space here is all HOA. So they take care of all of that. Stucco construction. Columned entry. Nice wing walls. Aggregate on the stoop. You have a wood and metal combination door. The glass is somewhat reflective, so you really don't feel like the privacy is an issue. So one of the nice aspects here is that you've got this area here that is uh, originally intended to be a formal dining room, but I'm sure a lot of people use that now as a study. Good size, probably 10 feet by 13 feet. Because this is an end unit, you have side windows. So these, these two windows are not in most of these units. So the natural light in here is really good. Most of the windows do have window treatments. There's a window up in the foyer and then I like these two story windows that are coming down at the stair hall. Nice overlook from the second floor. And it's been painted white, has uh, real wood floors. They're uh, brown colored on the main floor here. Do have a closet right here. They did a stone detail on this back wall of the staircase. A little faux stone action going on there. Does have a powder bath. Also with the wood floors, has a slanted wall underneath the stair. If someone ever wanted to get creative, I bet there's some storage space under there. But it's very pleasant, good light. It's nice that it's all white walls. Got an attractive ceiling fan in the living area. Looks out onto a private courtyard. It's a great layout. You've got a recess over here for entertainment. Could even put a built-in or a cabinet there instead since some people aren't doing TVs anymore. And then you've got an open kitchen concept with a dining area. And again, these windows would not be here on most of these units, but since this one is on the end, you get more light, not only in the, uh, you get it in the upstairs bedroom, uh, the master, uh, the utility room has a window that you'll see, and in the breakfast room here, dining room. So pretty good amount of cabinetry, nice quality. They're original, but they've been painted. Over the range microwave, gas cooktop, which is, gas is a little unusual for a townhome and then a built-in oven. Nice, uh, nice three, I think that's three by nine, uh, glass subway style tile in gray. And then I'm trying to remember, I think this was called tropical brown, but it's granite countertops. Nice uh, elevated space for bar stools. Dishwasher is the original, it's probably towards the end of its life. You do have a nice spot for the refrigerator. Hide the side of the refrigerator. 
and then a decent pantry. I think this has a really great flow. Some townhomes really suffer from lack of a good flow uh, of floor plan. Nice that there's a window in the utility room, like I was saying. Plenty of room for big size washer dryer, ceramic tile in there. Garage is really nice. Cedar garage door. The garage even has two windows that are not, not usually in the floor plans. So even the alleyway, if you will, the driveway, is really pleasant, very attractive. They've really done a nice job keeping this up. They've done epoxy on the floors in the garage. And there's the side view. Looks really nice. Clean electrical panel. We just did the inspection on this home. Gas water heater. If this puppy ever dies, you could do it. You could do a tankless right up against the wall. That would work completely fine. And then you've got a lot of townhomes again don't have outdoor space. So it's nice that you've got this private enclosed patio space. Has a ceramic floor. Looks like slate, but it's ceramic tile. And then this leads out to the back. Nice wrought iron gate. I'm doing it wrong. Nice wrought iron gate that leads out. There's the compressor. But it's a really nice space. Feels private. Years ago, my husband was one of the uh, original salespeople out here when this was a new development for portrait homes. And I thought they were pretty neat back then. It feels very much like a house without having to deal with yard and all of that. But it is technically single family. Um, this owns the land beneath it, so it does not count as a condo. But you've got condo conveniences. So wood floors continue up here. This is in a blonde color. It is real wood. There's a nice linen cabinet up here. Great spot for a vacuum. Red Iron Juliet overlooking. And then you've got a, this window's extra for being on, a, on an end unit. Nice, pleasant guest room, also in wood. There's no carpet in here whatsoever. Got a decent double closet. And then this bathroom across has 12 by 24 tiles. This has been updated. Glass enclosure. Little vanity there, newer commode. Uh, this is the HVAC closet. The heater air handler has been replaced. And then a decent sized bedroom. Good light. Plenty of wall space. Got room over here if you wanted to do a dresser. You could do a king size bed. I think this one's a queen. This is staging furniture. And then a little peek out into the back courtyard. They've got a wall mount for a TV there. And then a five piece bath. So by five piece, we mean two sinks, a tub, a shower, 
and a separate toilet. Obviously each bathroom wouldn't count as a bathroom if you didn't have a toilet, but that's what we mean when we say five piece. And a lot of times I don't see a tub in, in units like this. Um, sometimes they really suffer for size and it feels tight. Um, this window is an add-on in this unit because it's on the end. Decent sized closet. The cellar has kind of an odd shoe hanger on the back of the door so it doesn't open entirely. But wood floors in here as well. 12 by 24 hours out here. I'm guessing that these bathrooms were done at the same time. But it's nice that they've redone this because being that this is about 17 years old, this is coming up on the time when you would need that. The closet is great size for um, a townhome. Nicely done. I think it's very attractive. So there you have it. Lava Eda townhomes in Irving. Hope y'all enjoyed that. If you liked the video, please help me with my metrics and give me a thumbs up. Doesn't cost you anything, but it helps me a lot. Have a great day.